Hey guys, this is Danny Nguyen Auto here. Welcome to part two of my automation video. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. And right here where you, where you see where it says auto, short for automation, go ahead and click on where it says auto read. A drop down menu will pop up with uh, different automation modes. I'm just gonna start from the top. Off, off will turn off all automation. Read, read automation changes. Touch, touch will allow you to make automation changes, but when you let go of the fader, the fader will just return to the original automation setting that was made before. Uh, latch, latch is similar to touch, but when you let go of the fader, the fader will not return to the uh, original, to the uh, previously made automation changes, but it'll just stay on its own path. Right, right will, right will allow you to write over previously made uh, automation changes, and when you uh, stop the automation, it will either return to the latch mode or touch mode, depending on uh, what you set in premises. I'm just gonna go ahead and do touch first, and what I'm gonna be doing is playing the track, and while the track is playing, I'm just gonna click and hold on the fader and uh, move it. Notice that when I let go of the uh, fader, the fader just returned, it just jumped back up here, which was the uh, already made uh, automation. So let me just jump over to the uh, edit window, click on window, and click on edit. Command keyboard shortcut, command equals. Okay, right here you'll see all the automation, the program changes I made here. And you'll see that when I let go of the fader, it just jumped back up to here. Okay. Just go ahead and delete this. And jump back into the mix window. And I'm going to select a latch. So I'm going to be doing the same thing, playing the track and moving the fader up and down. Here it goes. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, here it goes. Notice that when I let go of the fader, the fader did not return. Uh, edit window over here. And notice right here is when I let go of the, uh, the fader and it did not return, it did not jump back up. It just stayed on its own path, as you, know, as you can see here. And this is where I turned off the uh, automation. I stopped the track and it just turned off the automation. And this is just over here, just, you know, the, uh, the previously made automation. Nothing, there's no, I haven't made any automation change over here, so just the original stuff. Okay. And I'm not going to uh, delete this. I'm going to jump over to the right, to the mix window and start with the right. Jump into right mode. And I'm just going to go ahead and start automating. Here it goes. Okay, notice right here where it says where it says latch. Before I selected to uh, select the right, but it jumped to latch. That's how I set it in my preferences. You can set it to touch if you like, but I I just selected to latch. Okay. Let me jump back over here to edit window, and you'll see the automation change that I made, and it has it has written over the already made. Uh, automation that I made before when I was in a latch. So that was here. I was more erratic than before. And in automation, you, you can also do like not just volume, but you could do mute automation and uh, also panning automation. Another thing you can also do is do a plugin automation. And that's that actually depends on the type of uh, plugin that you have. Some actually does not allow you to automate, and some does. And I'll show you. 
how you do that in a, in a different video. Uh, this is Danny out of here, signing out.